What is socialist realism? Socialist realism was the dominant style in official Soviet literature and art from 1934 onwards, characterized by its heroic depiction of labor, and glorification of the ruling Communist Party. In 1934, it was defined by the statutes of the Union of Writers as the basic method of Soviet literature, and as requiring from writers and artists a truthful portrayal of realities in their revolutionary development, and a commitment to the ideological remolding of the people in the spirit of socialism. It is important to note that in socialist realism, the writer was defined as the engineer of the human soul. According to scholars, this expression is often attributed to Joseph Stalin himself. Given this context, the term socialist realism can be loosely viewed as a style of idealized realistic art that was developed in the Soviet Union, and was the official style in that country between 1932 and 1988, as well as in other socialist countries after World War II. The optimism of socialist realism was habitually contrasted with what Andrei Zhidonov called, the riot of mysticism, religious mania, and pornography, that supposedly characterized the decaying culture of Western capitalism. Similar literary policies were adopted by Western Communist parties. The adoption of socialist realism as an official doctrine put an end to the earlier period of debates about the relationship between literature and politics within the Soviet Union. In the visual arts, stereotypical and heroic images glorifying industrial and agricultural labor, often caricatured as the boy meets tractor school, quickly replaced the experiments of the futurists, and constructivists. The notion of socialist realism is usually regarded as originating in Engels's comments in his letter of April 1888, to the novelist Margaret Harkness, where he defines realism as both truth of detail, and, truth in reproduction of typical characters under typical circumstances. The idea of typicality, is an important element in the theory of realism developed by Lukács, and he duly gave the notion of socialist realism his somewhat guarded approval. One of the more readable examples of socialist realism to have been produced in English is John Summerfield's May Day. But in his note to the 1984 reprint, the author retrospectively described it as early 30s communist romanticism.